So this is part 2 of the tutorial on the playlist and this tutorial will tell you how to take the filtered file that you made in the last video and put it into the AADR which is a data set with ancient files that you can run yourself against on Qpad and with other academic tools. So first of all you'll need to head to this link which is Google Colab which allows you to run the program that will merge yourself. Then you want to go to upload, browse and download this file in the link. Um, this has the code to merge your file. Hit open. And now you will be greeted with the screen. So, first of all, open the files bar because we need to see the files. Second of all, you want to do this before you run anything. So, click the down arrow, click change runtime type, and make sure the, the TPU is selected. This is because the TPU has more RAM and it allows you to merge the file. It will be pre-selected on CPU. If you leave it on CPU, the file will not merge. It will just not work. So you need to select TPU. Hit save. And then finally, um, you want to first install Admix Tools. So hit enter, well, hit play. Okay, so now that's done. Admix Tools has been installed. Next, you want to upload your 23 me raw data. So hit play. Hit choose files. And from the filtering folder in the last tutorial, we have the Merge Filtered Personal File. Click on it, click open, and then let it upload. Okay, so now that's done, you want to download the 1240k dataset. Now, make sure you don't select the plus HO option. This is because it halves your SP coverage. And if you're using a personal file, your SP coverage is already quite low. You don't want to nerf it even further and make it worse. So, for this tutorial, you must use the 1240k. So click on it and then click play. And this is like a 5 gigabyte file, so it might take a like a minute or two to download. So just let that download. Okay, so we're back and the download's complete. So now we can merge ourselves with the ADDR. So hit play. And you want to select you want to enter two here because obviously we are using the 1240k. Then the sex you don't really need to enter, it's not relevant, just put zero. Um, for the file, the name inside the IND file is going to be your target in QPadden. So your raw file will be called this in QPadden, it will be the target name. So here I'll just enter personal file. Enter. This free prefix will be the name of the of the f actual files themselves. So you want to just call this personal file because it's fine. But remember this because you'll need it later. And then finally, we'll ask you if you want to trim using the SP list. Here, click no because the P Link um, SP lists are quite buggy, they don't work properly. And um, we already did this in the last video manually. So put no and then click and en hit enter. And then it will take roughly 20 minutes to merge. Once it's done, I'll come back and we'll finish the rest of the tutorial. Right, so the merge took around 20 minutes. It's finished. As you can see, the merging completed successfully. Now you want to download the merged files as a zip. So hit play. First of all, before you hit play actually, make sure you refresh and find your files in the files folder. So you will want a personal file merge.general.ind and .snp. These three files you need to run yourself. So what you do is you hit play and then you want the base file name for the merged files. So in this case, ignore the underscore merged part that is here. So just ignore the underscore merged and just enter personal underscore file. We'll do that right now. Personal file. And then you want to hit enter on your keyboard. And then it will create the zip archive and then it will let you download it. So after this has finished loading, it will download here. And then you'll get the personal file in your computer. And that will be the conclusion of this tutorial. Then the next tutorial will show you 
how to use this file and use it to run QPadden models on yourself and another files in a data server.